family advising and I, uh, are talking about uh, our initiative with the schools named uh, Growing Up uh, on Brave and Free and Open School Software. Um, this is a um, libertarian program uh, that we proposed uh, also on AGID. Uh, there is a national agency for a digital agenda in Italy and um, for the dissemination of free and open source software in the schools, in particular um, with LibreOffice. And uh, we, we write a quote, uh, we want a world in which everyone has the opportunity not only to give their own answers, but to put their own questions. And um, this is the idea of uh, um, free and open source software uh, we see. This year we organized uh, um, a little office training uh, in uh, elementary school uh, with the children, uh, 10 year old. And um, we had uh, 37 children and their three, and their three teachers. Uh, and we organized this course in a little town at the center of Italy in Todi. Uh, we began the course with the Brofis uh, writer. And then we proposed uh, uh, impress and draw. And with the children, uh, we realized uh, uh, a product, uh, a classroom newspaper, and a presentation uh, with the difference between love and friendship. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, it's uh, an important initiative <coughs> because uh, in the first lesson uh, we delivered a CD with the profits and uh, we invited children to install the LibreOffice at home. And so, uh, we migrated the 37 families only in a day. Um, the lesson, uh, we made a video uh, with um, a part of the lesson and with uh, an interview uh, with the teachers uh, um, who um, uh, are talking about the goals of these activities and this video was streamed on a, a national channel news and we published it on our YouTube channel. We also made um, a little um, funny video uh, a promoting video, um, like an advertising spot, uh, and um, that explain how can children use LibreOffice. For example, uh, with their homework to make a research, to make a presentation, to make an ebook, uh, and so on. And the message of this video is uh, LibreOffice is your friend. At the beginning of the course, uh, our answer, answer is uh, um, how can we make sexy LibreOffice uh, uh, for children uh, who um, use, um, you usually uh, use Microsoft Office? And how can we not make uh, boring lessons? So uh, we understood uh, uh, with this experience uh, uh, that it's important for children to have a computer um, because uh, they um, could uh, make their exercises uh, uh, during the lessons and uh, um, it's important uh, adopting a simple language, a very simple language and then uh, it's also important uh, um, uh, to propose uh, a product, to make a product, uh, an e-book, uh, a newspaper, a presentation, uh, a product that children 
um, can present at the end of the course to their parents and other teachers and other children of the schools. For the Internet Safer Day, uh, we organized a lesson with the children and we explained um, how to use internet, uh, how to correctly use internet and social media. And children wrote 10 things to do and 10 things not to do on internet and social media and they made an infographic. Um, so uh, we published this uh, infographic uh, and we gave uh, the infographic to other students of the school. And also we published it uh, on our blog and, uh, our, uh, and other uh, scholar blog, important scholar blog in Italy. At the end of the course uh, here, <laughs> You, you, can, uh, you can see our, uh, our students. Uh, at the end of the course, uh, we gave a certificate and uh, we organized a final seminar with parents and teachers and students presented uh, their activities and their product and their presentation made with impress. And it's a beautiful um, moment. Then we organized uh, some, also some uh, training sessions for trainers um, in a high school in Gubbio, another little town uh, in Umbria, uh, in, in the center of the Italy, and uh, in uh, an elementary school in Perugia. Um, we had about uh, 50 trainers and 8 high school students um, that who um, now actually uh, can organize other courses for other students. Um, here uh, there are some, some pictures uh, that represent the um, teachers of the School of Perugia and uh, this is a moment of a seminar organized in the School of Gubbio um, where uh, we talked about uh, digital freedom and the importance of free and open source software at school and also open uh, format OEF. Now, Osvaldo. Uh, digitally active, but this is not the case in the sense that 
they are very able to use the, the interfaces, but, but in several occasions we, we, uh, we had the chance to, to observe that their awareness regarding the security, regarding the final destination of, of the information they put on the net, <coughs> they are not aware about the consequences of this, of this answer. Uh, was the, 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 we had the chance to afford those arguments because after having uh, signed the agreement with the, with the responsible of the, of, the, of the school, we organized the first day of in, in, uh, inviting some uh, relevant speakers like Kidolo and we, we present this type of, the, of things. Um, and the activity has been made possible because uh, in the area there were uh, some uh, members of Libertaria, so we share the duty of uh, delivering classes to, to such uh, young students. At the end, we, uh, we delivered the certificates for them. This is the, uh, the summary of the course, so just to show you that we do not uh, uh, want to go inside LibreOffice, in the, in the sense that some young, young students already know the, the package, um, but also we, we, we was convinced that we, we had only one hour in, uh, on Saturday, the last hour of Saturday, so you know people want to, to go home and relax for the weekend. So the idea was, was how to attract their, their attention. So, we try, we exploit all, all, the, all the packages, but focusing on some uh, arguments that may attract uh, um, their interest. So, for example, we, we use my match to prepare a letter for their birthday and invite all the friends, but uh, we produce this type of, uh, of product going into the, in the right way, using the database, interface the database with, with, uh, with Grindr, and so on and so forth. Uh, we also profited uh, to, to talk about GIMP, for example, if uh, draw is not uh, enough for um, uh, uh, customize the images. So, and then we, we, we went through the major argument of, of the package. And the result was uh, really funny. If you leave them to work they, uh, by their own using the the, the, the package you see very amazing results. So this is uh, this was uh, really exciting for us. And then we now we are uh, we are organized organizing the next year activity, the current year activity. We still uh, haven't started. And the, the idea is to uh, sign a formal protocol with the school. Several other school asked us to do the same. So there is a, a clear issue of sustainability because uh, we cannot <laughs> do the same job for a lot of school. But we are uh, confident that uh, with the other member of the association we can do a lot of job. And probably it's also a reason that uh, allow us to attract new, uh, new members in Libertad. The target this year is to um, enable the, the guys that made the last year the course to, to pass the ECDL uh, examination the certification program using open source and LibreOffice. Um, we are also planning some activity in order to involve some teachers for, for example, the computer science teacher or the math teacher, teacher in order to integrate the tool and allow uh, young, young students to, to, to perform some of their work using this package. However, it uh, was really impressive the, the way they manage the package. They are very, very satisfied and they produce very high quality products using the, the basic stuff. This is the, 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 the advertisement of the first initiative before starting the curves I mentioned before. There were also Italo somewhere here, yeah, okay? Italo, Sonia, myself, and others. And the idea was to disseminate the concept of freedom, Libre Office as freedom. So the freedom to uh, use a software freely without paying license, but also the freedom to adopt open standard. This was the 
one of the most uh, interesting drawbacks of this activity because uh, young people were very, really um, um, attracted by the, the idea of openness and freedom and uh, uh, using their product. And, and the idea is because, you know, in several environments, the, the idea is that the only office production, production suite is office and the only, most of the people do not understand the meaning of uh, document format. What, what, does it, what is it? And the majority of them uh, believe that DOC is the standard way of uh, disseminating files and information. So it's very important that in those young uh, generations we disseminate the, the, the right concept regarding freedom and openness, or also the uh, document representation. Uh, these are some pictures taken during some, some, some uh, initiative uh, uh, in which the, the, the responsible of the school uh, asked us to, to talk uh, regarding openness, regarding open source, regarding LibreOffice. And it uh, was a, an amazing uh, occasion to attract also the families. And they react very, very, very well in the sense that was motivated and participated to, the, uh, to this initiative. And, that, and we discovered that in this way, we helped the, the responsible of the school also to afford some things that, as, um, as a responsible, she was to afford with, with the young generation. And it, using this channel was nat a natural way to, um, uh, to, to, to um, say some important concept regarding, mostly regarding the openness, regarding the awareness of using the network, using social, net, social media, and uh, Facebook in particular, the information they put on, the, on, the, on those social media, the information remains there, and we show some, some examples regarding people that uh, uh, publish on YouTube some videos in which they were, for example, uh, not naked, but uh, almost, and then they danced during the night, or probably they were uh, a bit drunk, and in, in, those, in those days was um, announced in several channels that there were a young, uh, a young um, uh, employee that uh, tried to apply for a position and he won the, the competition among the others, but when the boss um, identified him as a winner, he went into the net to see what type of uh, let's say, reputation, he, he, he got on the net. And he discovered some, some information not truly really professional, so he, ref he refused to, to hire him and hire another person. So just to show them the consequences. It may happen that when he was 18, published a video on YouTube, and this video has been seen several years later, and used in a... In a unfriendly way, let's say. So this was very, very important, and the key was LibreOffice. Um, the same, we, we have set, set another initiative in where we discuss about the risks and the awareness of using social media. Um, this is another nice picture we, Sonia, uh, produced for the meeting made at the end of May. Um, still on awareness and uh, uh, the use of technology, because the young, young, young generation are very, very sensitive to this aspect. They know that they must, they have to use technology, but the idea is that you have to use in the right way, in a very aware, uh, aware um, condition. Um, another nice initiative has been uh, on uh, March 35th, 35th when uh, at the University of Perugia, where I'm working, um, uh, we organized an, an event scattered on several places, in particular with uh, the municipality of Mozzecane, and uh, we, we did it in a uh, video conference. And the students of the school and the Gubbio school and Perugia school, all those students come to the department 
and um, was very nice, even if uh, some of them was uh, bored because some, some, some speeches were was very, very, very heavy. Well, let me say one of them was either one, <laughs> very hard to, de to, to follow because um, the, the audio was, were not so, so, so good. And you know that when Italo talks about open documents, it's very, very easy. So students <laughs> was a bit <laughs> annoyed. I can say it because Italo is not here. Please don't report to him. So, and it, especially for this occasion, they produced this infographic. So, the way uh, those guys. Uh, the ideas, the, the feeling they express thinking to open document was one of the few events in Italy, unfortunately, not many uh, during the uh, document free, freedom day. Okay, um, we can summarize all we have said in five, let's say, drawbacks, uh, drawbacks in the five, uh, op let's say, five advantages we got. Um, the open data free software um, allow us to become those, those guys digitally active in a very aware way, so conscious, conscious of, uh, of the consequences, um, not, not only from the technology point of view. Um, was very, very nice to show to those young people uh, how uh, it's possible from the com that a community of user developers made uh, a software so strong, so beautiful as LibreOffice, only without being, uh, let's say, uh, as, a, as, a, as a community effort. So this is very important because they can, uh, they can think about, so hopefully they can become, they can, uh, they can um, become friend of this uh, of this movement and think to contribute in the future. In particular, one of uh, the teacher has an experience is active in the user experience group of uh, LibreOffice. So he described them how uh, the group decide to change the interface to improve some buttons to. Uh, improve the colors, so it was very, very nice and they were very, very attracted about this discussion. Um, um, we provided some test case um, in order to involve them, in letting them un understand how it's possible to believe in a, in a project, in an in idea, in a, in, um, uh, in, in LibreOffice, for example, simply because you think that is a good thing. You, you put your efforts, your, your time, your energies against this movement because it's a, it's a good thing you, you can do. This is a sort of message they do not receive so often in, the, in their life today. Um, the other part is related to the format, the open format concept, how the da data are represented and how important it is to have an open format for, for storing those data. And the other part is related to the localization. This was uh, a part that they, they were really attracted. Uh, the idea that, uh, is that you have a traduct, very efficient, very nice, very good, and each culture, each um, uh, ethnic uh, representative can access the product without any barrier. Barrier uh, originated from the language or from... Uh, so this is another important uh, message that we provide them uh, for uh, the culture preservation and uh, knowledge dissemination, cultural respect. And we guess that uh, those are enough, enough reason to spend time, to spend energies uh, among this, uh, this type of uh, percourse. Then we move ahead and we, we involve also other, other cities still in, in the area. In this case, we, we went to a 
neighbor region and uh, uh, it was an occasion because we, they, they invite us and um, Linux user group invite us and still either was present and uh, we presented um, the idea of uh, LibreOffice, of open source. Still, uh, a lot of students were present um, and uh, was a very nice um, occasion to, to share with, with the other with the other groups, with the other students, the same, the same ideas, the same approach. So uh, at the end, uh, we uh, collect the experience on a national level because in other countries, in other cities, made the same activities, and this has been published in a in a in an ebook in Italian. Um, uh, it's the translation of the title of, of this talk. So and. Um, the idea is that they need not only the basic for uh, elements for growing in, the, in terms of uh, bread and uh, other type of food, but they need also the ideas of free software, open standards, uh, and LibreOffice. Thank you. Any questions? Children uh, were um, very, very good um, on this uh, case, and they um, they talked about uh, free and open source software also at home. Uh, for example, a mother said me that uh, her children expose the not only the activities but. Uh, uh, the concept uh, the, of uh, free and open source software and uh, also of open open format uh, because um, uh, uh, a child said us uh, about ODF uh, um, if um, a friend of mine uh, sent me a letter, a document uh, in doc uh, uh, this is uh, this significa uh, um, it means it means that uh, he um, isn't a very friend <laughs> because uh, he wants uh, that uh, I have uh, also Microsoft Office. How do you explain to children what software is? That you get what source code is and how you make that into a program? Do you actually give them a small program to write? Or how do you no. teach them? Don't do that. No, we, we had not the chance to, uh, to let them program. Uh, just uh, the approach was very simple. This is nice. It can be nice, but and it's part of the nasty activity. When I mentioned that we want to involve the uh, computer science teacher, because the the way some of these teachers um, tell how how computer science works is really really poor. So we have a spe experience with Coder Dojo and other initiatives in, in, in where the, the 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 young students, even in in the primary school, are able to program using Scratch or other tools. So this, this should be really, really interesting. This approach of this course was even lower, let's say, even uh, uh, preliminary to this, uh, to this stage, only using the user interface, producing some documents, playing with the program. 
So they know very well because um, they, all, all of them uh, have their own PCs. So they used to produce, uh, use Impress or other other packages. But we we uh, fo uh, focus our attention in letting them learn some strange things. So so that the next time if they if they need to do something complicated. They think that the LibreOffice is the right instrument. So, and in our opinion, this was the entry level to, to exploit the, the powerness of the, of the software. Yeah. Thank you. Other questions? Thoughts? Thank you. Thank you so much.